Hello everyone, my name is Matt and this is Real World Review. Today I will be showing you how to replace a screen on the iPhone 8. So the tools that we will need will be the following. A Penelope P2 bit, Y000 bit, JIS000 or PH000 bit, along with the driver, a pick of some sort, and a razor blade. You may also need some heat. So we start with the P2 driver and remove the two bottom screws. Next we want to lift up the screen, but since this is brand new, we will add some heat. So I will heat up the plastic edges for a few seconds to make the adhesive soft and then use a blade to get in between the metal frame and the plastic frame. Once there is a gap we will switch to the plastic pick and prevent scratching and other damage. We want to start by lifting up the bottom a little bit and then do the same thing on the sides. Just make sure not to lift up the screen too much or you could damage the cables on the right side. Feel free to add more heat when needed. Once you got the sides up, we will need to unclip the top portion just like we did with the iPhone X. Once all four sides are loose, we will prop up the display onto the right side so we can access the screws. Now grab the PH000 bit and start removing those four screws on the bottom panel and the three screws on the top panel. Once the two metal panels are off, we can start unplugging the four cables. This will be the battery cable, display cable, top flex cable, and the home button cable. Now that the screen is off, we will have to move all the components onto the new screen. Best case scenario, you will just have to remove the home button, but for this video, we will be removing everything. So while we have the PH000 out, remove the top six screws and place them to the side in order. Now we will grab the Y000 bit and remove the three screws on the right side and the three on the left. Now we can remove the four on the bottom, holding the home button assembly together. Carefully unplug the cable like shown and move the screen connector away so you can remove the home button. Be extremely careful and make sure to get under the home button cable to loosen up the adhesive holding it down. These cables are extremely easy to tear and only Apple can fix them. Feel free to use heat if needed. Once it becomes loose, the home button just falls out of the front of the phone. Fun. Next we will remove the top flex cable. Again, be very careful with this and don't use anything too strong or it might break things on the cable. Be careful with the proximity and ambient light sensors as these are very easy to break if it's your first try. Feel free to add a little bit more heat to remove these pieces like shown. Once the little stuff is out, we can remove the metal panels on the back of the screen. There is adhesive holding it together on the bottom, so if you loosen up that adhesive, the panels will come off very easily. Now all you have to do is put the pieces back onto the new screen, and screw everything back in place where it goes. Make sure to put the home button in like shown, or else it won't set properly. Also be careful with all the screws, especially the Y000 screws because they can strip very easily. Now for the top flex cable, make sure to move the two plastic pieces holding the sensors and the front camera in place over to the new one. For repair reasons, I did not do this for this video, but that is something that you should do if the new screen does not have those pieces. Like I said, once everything is lined up, you will put the right screws back into the right place.
Now we can plug in the screen like shown. Once the cables have carefully been plugged in, you can plug in the battery and make sure the screen works. And it does. Now we will prop up the screen again and place the metal panels back in place with their appropriate screws into the correct order. Feel free to add some new adhesive around the edges of this phone for water resistance. I did not need to do this, so I left it with the stock adhesive. Now set the screen down starting with the top and pushing down on the sides and the bottom. Now if everything is working fine, put the screws into the bottom of the phone. And that's it. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section or on Twitter at Matt of RWR. And feel free to follow me on the social media listed above. Also, subscribe to my channel if you want more repair and review videos. Thanks for watching.